jugar con fuego. Uh, uh, jugar con fuego. Jugar con fuego. Jugar means to play. Con means with. Fuego means fire. Fire. So the literal translation is to play with fire. And um, it's similar to saying to play with fire. <laughs> So this is a very literal phrase and also as an idiom, it means to play with fire. So uh, essentially someone is doing something dangerous, just like playing with fire. That's dangerous. That's dangerous, uh, literally and figuratively. So <laughs> let's look at some examples using jugar con fuego, jugar con fuego. The first example is Estás jugando con fuego. So this is a very simple, nothing too complicated. You're just saying, estás jugando con fuego. What does this mean? I know you know. I know you know. <laughs> this is wrong. <laughs> oh boy. You're playing with fire. You're playing with fire so stop it right para para means stop it or stop para um, i can even add it here mm. let's add it at the beginning even like let's have uh, exclamation marks para para means for also but uh, when you have it like that as an expression, means stop or stop it. Stop it. Oh my God, sorry. Para, para. Stop it. Estás jugando con fuego. Okay. So... Let's break this down. It's very easy. It's not complicated at all. As I said before, para means stop it. Okay? Stop it. Para. Estás. Estás with an accent mark. Because there's one without an accent mark. And it means these. Estas naranjas. These oranges. But when it has the accent mark, it means um, tú estás. You are. You are, okay? Tú estás, you don't need tú. You can just say estás. Jugando, we have the verb jugar, which means, again, to play. Yo juego, tú juegas, nosotros jugamos, um, ellos juegan, ellas juegan, and so on. This is an irregular verb, so it has its own conjugation. It has some irre irregularities, so we have to pay attention to this verb, jugando, I mean jugar. Jugando means playing. That's the gerund of the verb. Con, as I said before, with fuego, el fuego, fuego means fire. Okay, so you're essentially saying to someone, hey, stop doing that. It's dangerous. That's what you're saying. It's very simple. It's very simple. Now let's look at another example using this phrase. María está jugando con fuego al mentirle a su novio. María está jugando con fuego al mentirle a su novio. This means María is playing with fire by lying to her boyfriend. So María is doing something that she should not be doing because lying is, well, lying is not right. Um, but, it's, I mean, especially if you're dating someone, if you're married, that... I mean, you should not lie to your partner for sure. María, well, that's a name. María means María. Está, ella está, María es, jugando. We have the phrase right here. Okay, so the verb estar 
works really well with this phrase. Estoy jugando con fuego. Estás jugando con fuego. Están jugando con fuego. So re remember that estar is a very good verb to use with this phrase that we're learning. María está jugando con fuego. María is playing with fire. Okay. Al mentirle by lying, mentirle, mentirle a él, uh, you're actually adding the pronoun le, okay, because you're talking about the boyfriend, and we do that a lot in Spanish, <laughs> we, we add pronouns to verbs very often, um, because if you say al mentir, just mentir, doesn't make sense. You need to add le. So you are lying to your boyfriend, right? So that's why we need le. Al mentirle, al means by in some situations. Um, al also means to the, you know, or to the, into the, in the, okay? And also by when you're saying, you know, you are playing with fire because you're lying to your boyfriend. So you're explaining the situation here. Al mentirle, by lying le to him, a, to, su means her, and also his. But we're talking about Maria, and that's why we're saying her. Novio boyfriend okay boyfriend novio novia girlfriend okay that's the uh, the meaning of that word is maria está jugando con fuego al mentirle a su novio maria is playing with fire by lying to her boyfriend okay mm -hmm. 